This is a very shiny piece of aluminum, and this is a piece of aluminum that I've actually cut from, this, uh, from the aluminum stock. It's 1 16th inches thick. Now, the sensing task here is to detect uh, the presence of this 1 16th inch thick uh, piece of aluminum resting on the aluminum background, a very difficult sensing task, particularly when you consider that the sensing distance is only about a half an inch. Now, here we go. We're going to actually shove this piece of metal in front of the sensor and expect the, uh, the sensor to respond to it. You want to talk about background suppression. Here's the ultimate background suppression uh, sensing task. Look at that. Ten bars of deviation. One sixteenth inch piece of aluminum resting on, one, on, on the same aluminum stock that it was cut from. I want to tell you that there wasn't a single smart eye sensor that could have accomplished this sensing task. The beauty of, this, uh, of what, we've done, what we're doing here is that we actually have, we actually have a 125 bundle of fiber optics. So we didn't have to downsize the size of the fiber optics to do the sensing test. If we did, we would have had to get closer to the aluminum stock, and we might have responded to the minor imperfections, scratches, and what have you on the surface. But we are using a large divergent cone of light, so we're looking at a big enough area, and yet we're able to get the resolution uh, of this piece of aluminum on, resting on a piece of aluminum. Now here's another application involving the high potential of dark state saturation. In this case, I have the aluminum background, and I've set the, uh, with the offset EDR adjustment to a zero on the contrast indicator. Please notice that the EDR light located in the middle of the Mark II Smart Eye is very brightly lit. That's because the EDR offset adjustment has tracked well into the enhanced dynamic range of the sensor, and therefore the EDR light is very brightly lit. Here the sensing task is to sense metal washers resting on this aluminum metal background. Here we come along with the washer, and as you can see, the leading edge of the washer gives us 10 bars of deviation. Now we've switched to a smaller 062 bundle of fibers to size the, the light beam down to the size of the leading edge of the washer. Some background suppression, unbelievable. Now here's an actual application where we had to avoid dark state saturation. The sensing task here is to detect the presence of this foil cover. Uh, I believe it's a tamper-proof cover on, the, on this container. This one does not have the foil uh, cover, and this one, of course, does. Now let's take a, 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 a quick look at the results. Here we have a BFA-36, or a 125 bundle of fibers in this threaded tip. Now when I put the... Uh, the container without the uh, protective uh, cover, you can see that we have a zero on the contrast indicator. Even though it's very bright metal, we still have a zero on the contrast indicator. Now when I put the cover with the protective foil uh, cover on top of it, you can see that it goes all the way up to a 10. So here we've been able to detect the foil on metal. Thanks for watching. For help with an application, or for more information on this product, Please call Tritronics or visit our website at the link below.